Hello everybody. In today's video, I blame Twice Diecast for this video sent for this video's existence. We'll say that. Um Yeah, it's really hard to watch a Twice Diecast video without checking eBay afterwards. And <laughs> And this is a result of that, uh, plus me getting some, uh, if there's a website called Fletch Rewards, uh, it's an app actually, it's called Fletch Rewards, and you can scan receipts when you're at the store, and you can redeem, uh, and this is not paid, this is not paid advertisement, it sounds like it is, but it isn't, you can scan your receipts, and it gives you points back, trust me, it's a slow process, you get like 25 points back, which is not even 50 cents. But after a while, and it, you know, there's certain items at the store that can give you extra points, and that's why you scan the receipt. It's like, oh, you bought a two liter of Pepsi. Here's an extra two dollars. So uh, every a thousand points is a dollar. So you know, like sometimes they're generous, sometimes there aren't. So they're like, oh, here's two dollars for getting a Pepsi. It's like, oh, hey. Um, so eventually, you can cash it in for gift cards to anywhere you'd like, actually. Uh, of course, I'm after eBay. I'm not doing any of that Chipotle. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even like Chipotle. Uh, I, I gotta get my Chipotle. Yeah, well, I, Chipotle's not bad. Uh, Chipotle, not my thing. But and this is not about restaurants. This is about Flesh Rewards. But uh, I ended up redeeming a $25 gift card. And this is a result of that. I went on eBay and I'm like, oh, Twice Diecast really likes his tarmac work, so what can I get with tarmac works? And I'll tell you what you can get. Well, high aces are out here for a reason. But first, we're starting with tarmac works. This is the Vertec Sylvia S14. And I saw it, and I'm like, oh, I have to have it. I mean, Vertec is not my favorite body kit manufacturer. Um,. But they do do very clean stuff. And I was looking at this and like, yeah, there's not really much premium S14s besides the Hot Wheels one. And, you know, that has some limitations to it. So I'm like, well, I want to get a tarmac work. Now, I have a tarmac work already from David Beeson. A very nice piece. And I think this is their higher quality line because this packaging is pretty cheap uh, <laughs> but actually this thing was screwed down to the plastic they actually went through and uh, here it is they had it screwed to that plastic piece in there like they actually there's no base that comes with this thing but they put the effort to s secure it to the plastic which i think was cool so here is the model the lack of premium Sylvia's in general is quite sad, and you know the fact that Tomica has never even done any besides the F thirteen is kind of crazy. So I, I settled on the Tarmac Works, and I know this is their lower quality line. The uh, what is this Global sixty four? Yeah, these aren't their like these are not even like their best quality models. And like look at this thing, you can see the intercooler in there, and the piping. You got marker lights right next to it. Lens headlights. Nice black grill. Your Vertec window banner, which is so cool. Uh, oh, what are these mirrors called? Ganador? Ganador mirrors? On here. I don't think they're actually, like, hollowed out, though. You can see where the hole would be, but I don't think it's actually hollowed. They are rubber, like a Mini GT, which is cool. I love the wheels on this one, too, because you can see the rim of it is polished, but the middle of it is not, and they're all like that. The middle is just regular chrome, and then the outside's polished. It gives it gives it a very nice look, and, of course, they're deep dish. Nice, smooth tires. And it's obviously a drift car. S14 Silvia. There's a little tarmac work print. and do have a metal base. I think that's a painted exhaust. It's not a separate piece. That's a metal exhaust. Oh, maybe it isn't. It feels plastic. You hear that noise it makes when I scrape it with my nail? I think it's plastic. That's kind of cool. Got your uh, 
sponsors, I think. I I've never heard of any of those things. I don't know if they're sponsors or just like logos. Vertex Rage. Interesting. So yeah, this does have a very subtle body kit to it. Of course, the bumpers aren't stock. Um, but it does have a little bit of over fenders on there. You can see the vent and uh, over fenders on the rear. Very subtle. Nice little wing. There's the exhaust sticking out. Vertex on the plate. There's some company down there on the splitter. There's your tail lights. There's a, like a piece of orange chip, or not orange, green chipped on the inside there, which is weird. But yeah, this is a very nice model and it rolls really good. It's a roller. So of course, this is true 164 scale. So the Hot Wheels one is gonna look fat compared to it. And you know, oh, the Hot Wheels one does look very good. And then, yeah, now it's fat. And of course they are both Zenki, or no, these are not, these are Koki. Koki S14s. There's your rear end. Yeah, the, the tarmac work is so much more refined than the Hot Wheels one. It's crazy. But it's funny that they're both Zenk, or Koki S14s. If you don't know what I'm talking about and why I keep saying Zenkis, because I have the photo pulled up right here. There are two different front ends that you can get on a S14. You can get a Zenki with like the more open headlights or you can get Koki with the more aggressive looking headlights. And it is pronounced Koki, not Cookie. Uh, the, the Japanese purist gets really mad about that one. So don't call it Cookie, it's a Koki. And of course there's Zenki right there. Zenki. So I like, I personally like the Zenki better. And I don't know why that doesn't exist at all in 164 scale. The Hot Wheels one is a Koki. the more aggressive looking one, and so is the Tarmac Works. And I believe the other mop, the other casting they have is a Zenki as well. It's actually hard to tell on the, the Formula Drift casting. That looks, it might be Koki. No, it's, I don't know, it's weird. The, the, the angle of it makes it look like a Zenki, but the way that the headlights are tampoed, you know, it's got that, that one big light bulb rather than two of them right there in the front. Uh, that one's got the one big one, so I think that's a Zenki. It'd probably be easier to tell once I get it out of here, but that'll be a review for a different day. So that is the Tarmac Works that I purchased, and it is very nice, and it could be better. Well, not really. I, I'm happy with it. I, I don't, I mean, that Porsche that Beeson gave me is crazy. There's so much extra pieces on that one. I don't think this one really needs any extra pieces. It's got the wing and that's it. But now the next casting. And the, the next vehicle I'm going to pull out here is why the lineup of Hiasis is hanging out here. We're just going to move the box. I have purchased my second era car model. This is a new casting. I believe it's a... 2022 casting from them. A Toyota Hiace Japanese police van. This is the first special edition. So this is the first release of it. And they are planning to do two stock versions. One in black, one in white. They're doing a Hong Kong fire unit. And a JAF police unit. For basically Japanese highway patrol. So uh, I'll probably get them all except the Hong Kong one because that it doesn't really make sense in the sense when I like photograph them and stuff. I like the Japanese stuff. Of course, I'll take the stock ones and then any like Japanese specific liveries they do, I'll probably get. And yeah, so just move the box to the side. And this model is just amazing. Aerocar did really good on this. And I was I was already impressed by the Every that I have from them. But this one, this high ace, and it, it really shows the evolution of Aerocar because the uh, Every was one of their original castings. Like they, they had that, the 6x6 six six and the Jimny. They had like three castings back in the day and the Audi. Okay, four. So they've been slowly adding some to their arsenal. And this high ace is one of them. And I think they are getting a lot better than they were. 
because I could notice some quality issues with the every uh, and it does have suspension that barely works and I think the rear suspension blew out on it <laughs> it sags in the rear a lot but they didn't put suspension on the high ace but I don't think it needs suspension and actually yeah that'd be tight there's a lot of flashing from the rubber but that could easily cut that off but let's look at this thing now it does have a plastic base so it does feel and it will sound a bit you know, it doesn't sound as sturdy as this. You know, you can hear that echoing metal. Uh, this sounds cheaper, but... And it is, it's an era car. This thing was $9 compared to the Silvia that was $14. Uh, I guess, I don't know if he was, like, purposely listing it at 14 because it's an S14 or what. But, here you go. You got lensed headlights and the high ace ain't nothing special. The grill is a separate piece. The bumper is a separate piece, which... I think they did on purpose because this is a 2005 model year. And they also have done, I think it's 2005. Yeah, it's a 2005 because this is the new one. You can see how it's changed a little bit. But they do have a tooling for this model and then they have the 2011 tooling. So the two stock versions, I think, actually one of the stock ones is gonna be 2005. The other stock one is a 2011 and the JAF, road service one is a 2019 so that's going to have the same face as the tomica that more aggressive looking face which i guess is cool i like the 2005 one better just because that's that's the year i was born well no it, it just it looks simpler and cleaner they got the police badge on the hood which we know if you are caught with that badge on your vehicle and is not a police car and in, in japan of course you can be in serious trouble because they do not like that. You could replicate a police car fully down. You can put the roof lights on there. You can put the words on there. They don't care. You have that little badge and they're coming after you. <laughs> um, you got your fog lights. You got your Japanese plate. You got your really skinny tires, which is nice. But the one thing that surprised me was this little hood mirror. I did not notice that when I ordered it. And they did actually print some chrome on the other side of it, which is very cool. I love that little mirror. And of course, these mirrors are actually plastic inserts, which is funny because the Suzuki Every, they were metal built into the casting and they were they kind of looked a lot bulky. So I'm just glad these ones are plastic inserts. Plastic trim on the door, well, it's painted black, but it's supposed to be plastic. Of course, windows are separate piece like inserted. Like uh, like the Kyosho one. And I'm sure the TLV one's like that too. You can already see that the trunk does open, which we'll get to that. You got your police badge. You got your classic black and white livery. Six spoke wheels that kind of that kind of loosely remind me of that. Matchbox wheels. Maybe that's why I like them so much. <laughs> there are your tail lights. Clear, red, translucent, with some silver trim on it. Toyota badge on the back, Japanese plate, and you got your reverse light, but they've added another mirror on the rear window there. And I think it has printing on it, I don't know. Uh, yes, it does, it has printing. I don't know what the purpose of that mirror is, I don't know why it's there. Uh, I know the rear, I know a lot of the rear ones have it, uh, especially like the industrial and like commercial vehicle. Uh, I didn't word that right. A lot of the uh, utility versions have it. The work high aces. Uh, I think to better see out the windows. And of course the police ones are going to have that too. But I don't think like the just the civilian one. The civilian ones will have that. But I mean it might be an option. I don't know. You do have your raised police light. Which I love. I love that they added that. And of course there is the screen in the back that would have messages. They didn't put a message on there. Uh, yeah, very... <laughs> oh, how rude. No message just to say hi or something. No, that'd be, that'd, that'd be worse than nothing. And you do got these things on the roof. I don't know exactly what they are. They might be lights. I don't know. I probably should have looked into that. But the real one has it, so I'm happy that the Aerocar one has it. They don't even look like lights on the packaging. Look at that. They're, just, they're like horns. But I like that they're there. Like the like the rear view mirror. I don't know what the purpose is, but I like that they added it. 
And yeah, so like the front ends are plastic, the bumpers are plastic, the headlights and the grill are plastic just so that they can change it out. And I think the rear bumper is plastic. Yeah, it is. Rear bumper is plastic so they can remove them and make the different facelifts without making whole new castings, which I guess is pretty cool. And that's what green light does, you know. Yeah. This thing rolls very nicely. Very big compared to the Sylvia. And uh, it's not, so I mean, my lineup of high aces here is like six strong and I'm not even close to being done with them. They're all true 164 scale, which is nuts. Uh, actually, the Majorat one actually is probably a little wide now that I think of it. It's a bit wider, but the length is right. But yeah, they're, they're all very close. Or they're all true 164 scale. If not true, then very close. And all the other ones that I don't have are true 164 scale, which I still need to get. But that's not even much anymore. I got the Era car. I think all I need is the Tarmac Works and the BM Creations, and I might even be getting that soon. So I think all I need is the Tarmac Works, which I really... The Tarmac Works has a wide body on it, which... It's kind of cool because I got all these other ones that are stock. Um, <laughs> but uh, it seems like they're... Like, I... Don't get me wrong, I still love the R34, but I think the high ace has way more representation than the R34. Especially when you look at that... The Hot Wheels one isn't the best. It's a it's got a Z-Tune front bumper on a, a Z-Tune front. Well, I think it's a Z-Tune in general. And I got the Tomica Z-Tune. I got the Tomica stock one. The green light casting's not that good with the R34. Uh, it's just a little off. Um, of course, Motor Max does not make a good R34 at all. Uh, nor does Jada. Uh, both of those lack a lot. So yeah, it's really hard with the R34s, and I really should break down and buy a Stance Hunters one, maybe on my next gift card that I redeem, who knows. But yeah, I'm kind of waiting for the Tarmac Works to do a clean one, because they have the Moon Eyes one, I don't like it. Uh, they have the Falcon one, which is probably the best one out of them. Uh, I want, I kind of want them to do like a clean one. Like, oh yeah, white, a white high ace with a wide body and maybe some like gold rims. That'd be clean. That's all I need. No crazy decals or anything. But it is what it is. <laughs> so there is the lineup of high aces, you know, all different generations. And all true 164 scale, even down to the basic Tomica one. Um, I still need the other TLV with the uh, smaller headlights, I guess you could say. This is the facelifted version, but I need, like, the pre-facelift, too. Uh, so that's, that's another one on the list. But, hey. It doesn't, the list isn't that big. I know there's some Chinese knockoff brands. I know Alloy Toys, which is a Chinese... Or Alloy Metal, it's called. It's a Chinese model brand. They do a high ace. I don't know how accurate that is. It almost looks like a Kyosho one, really. Um, I don't know what the size of it is. It could be 164 scale if it is actually a copy of the Chio show. Um, but I know, and I know there's also a couple, like, uh, clones of the high ace. Like, they're not officially licensed. But that's all I have for you guys. We'll put the Sylvia back out here one more time. I really need a transport for it now, too. <laughs> I need, like, a flatbed. Put the... Uh-oh, what you gonna do? You, the highest man caught you drifting on the streets. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.